Hey, what's up? I know it's hard to see me a little bit. Even though I'm under these uh, cool here lights. It's still Christmas Eve, 2018. Sorry if I don't know if you can see me, but that's how it is. Especially with this kind of camera phone and shit like that. I'm in this little area here by the, um, by, um, 1488. It's a place that's still in, uh, being constructed. It's an apartment complex, a retirement facility. And, um, as you can see, probably, it's hard to see because there's, um, very little, little light here. And since this side of the phone doesn't have a flash on it or a light on it the only on the other side and as you'll know the other other side is uh, fucked up so I come and check this uh, area out there uh, tonight on Christmas Eve brother and sister and brother-in-law are watching some um, movie on the TV on the tube there Myself, I just got done watching a few episodes of the early Doctor Who from the 70s and the 60s on YouTube here. I'll tell you what, let's just walk around. I just wanted to uh, show these cool lights here. I don't know if they're going to leave them like that or whichever it was. It'd be cool if they were left like that because it would cool, look cool at the nighttime. So you can find uh, another spot here. So we can uh, get a drink in my hand. Thank goodness the uh, convenience stores are still open. Gas stations and that. Or basically, <clears throat> what I'm talking about, just gas stations. So there's no convenience stores in this area. There we go. Got this one right here. I'm gonna check this spot, spot out here. I don't know if anybody could uh, see from here. I just noticed this on the way up here. Awesome, absolutely awesome. This would make a good uh, stage for uh, some heavy metal band, I know that, or which or some singer app or whichever. But so you got to give uh, the architect who designed this a lot of major props for designing that. That does look awesome, I will say. Sadly, if I had a light on, if the other lens here was working, I'd get more for you. As I said, it's still Christmas Eve, and earlier today, when I was riding back from, um, riding back home from the uh, Walmart, before they closed, they closed at 6 p.m. Thought I'd take a ride out there, get a couple of snacks and shit. I was remembering some, um, Christmas memories that I had back in Michigan. I think just share a couple of them with you. Most of them were back when we lived in Roseville. My dad um, and my dad at that time would um, come up with little ideas on how me and my sister Michelle would be. Um, would be hidden, hiding away or doing something occupied with um, some sort of activity while they actually unloaded the presents from the attic we at our place. I remember this one little thing um, my dad did say, um, he took me and my sister outside in the snow up above this hill, which, which on the other side was uh, a freeway, I-94, actually the intersection where 
I-696 divided into I-94 east and west about. And the purpose is, was to see if we could find Santa Claus up there in the sky by chance. Let's see if we could find Santa Claus, you know, and... Nope, don't see him. Let's wait a little longer. Nope, he's not there. It's okay, let's uh, head home. So, um, after a long while doing that, we would come home and right under the Christmas tree would be in me and Michelle's presence. And Ma would say that Santa Claus came in through the back door by surprise, you know. <laughs> Look at that good gimmick there. There was another time I got to tell this funky story. Me and Michelle would be in our beds pretending to sleep. And um, <clears throat> they would make it out like Santa was actually uh, came in through the attic. And my dad would pretend that they were uh, helping Santa unload the presents down from the attic. And he would tell us, don't come out yet, don't come out yet. Uh, Any time now, Dad? Um, are we now? Can we come out? Not yet. What's the wait? Uh, Rudolph's taking a poop on the roof. <laughs> Me and my sister remember that very well. Those were some good times back then. Then later on, uh, the Christmas kind of like um, we got older. It kind of like, kind of like the spirit kind of like went went a little dense a little bit there. But because it, it, I guess it's a natural thing when you get older, you know, because you know you come to realize that there's no Santa Claus. There's none of this, there's none of that. Well, for the record, there is a Santa Claus. Each and one of us, inside of us. There's lots of Santa Clauses out there who, um, who try to donate to the homeless shelters out there. Who help needy kids. Who donate toys. Those are the real Santa Clauses. And I think we should uh, give them lots of acknowledgement. You know? Because there are a lot of kids out there who, um, who don't have toys or anything like that. And so, um, they deserve a lot of credit. I also want to give the, take this time to send well wishes to, um, to those out there who are not close with their family, who are distanced because of some sort of um, personal issues, whether it's um, marriage falling apart or um, too much dysfunction between the siblings and that. I remember reading on um, in a magazine that the holiday season is the uh, most rapid time for suicides because too many people are not close. Too many issues getting in the way and nobody has uh, the courtesy to put those issues aside for, for a couple times in their uh, within the year, Christmas and Thanksgiving, you know, to come together as one. You know, I said it in my um, last video I just posted earlier today. I'll say it again. I always want to send a very happy, very merry Christmas to everybody within the YouTube community. Bailey Smoke Rudolph, Fom Alf Ken, Joe Cronin, Justin Bailey. Ray Rollins, Alyssa Hayes. I also want to acknowledge, uh, I want to acknowledge the Super Ugly Show, even though Joe Cronin and the Super Ugly crew don't really see eye to eye. 
it would be nice, you know, for them to come together. Also, shout out to Joe Cronin's family. Congratulations on getting your house finally. That means we'll probably see a different setup for the next monetize this or a week or two, which I highly recommend for everybody to watch. If you've got nothing to do, if you're too sick to go out, or if you're flat ass broke, no need to worry. Joe and everybody else bring the party to you. Also, shout out to uh, Dan Rex out there. Um, and everybody else, you know, Jacob and everybody else who follow me. I follow on Twitter and also my community on Facebook. Jessica. Jamie. That's so many people to name. So many people to name. about done with this drink here but it probably give me another one probably walk back home <clears throat> I think I make this video sending out another Merry Christmas to everybody we'll wrap this up for now and see what what tomorrow takes us I'm Dr. Earl thank you for watching subscribe to my channel have an awesome holidays.